Hey what's good guys, it's Zach, hope you all are doing well. This is the OnePlus 6T and I'm super excited to be able to share this with you guys. OnePlus just announced this a little while ago. Shout out to them for making this video possible. So I decided to just take out the microphone and talk, give you guys my first impressions. Uh, I've gotten the chance to mess around with the phone for a little while, so here we go. So let's go ahead and start off with what is new. So uh, one of the biggest things that stood out to me was the 3700 milliamp hour battery. So yes, we get a bigger battery this time around. I'm really looking forward to testing that out. I'm sure the battery life is going to be very, very good. Uh, we do get 128 gigabytes of storage in the base model. That is awesome. I wish more companies would do that. <coughs> Google. We also get six gigabytes of RAM in the base model. We actually have a bigger display. So the body of the phone is pretty similar, pretty much the same thing as the OnePlus 6, but we have a larger display. It's at 6.41 inches and they stretched this display out closer to the edges. So uh, first of all, you have that notch there. It is a much smaller notch, which is cool. Uh, I guess we're calling this the teardrop notch. And we have an ever so slightly smaller chin as well. So uh, the less bezel, the better, I guess. And uh, it looks really good. The cameras are the same as the OnePlus 6, but we're getting improved software. So we're getting better night shots, portraits, and selfies. We're gonna have to test that out. So stay tuned for my full review for results on that. And of course we get a whole lot of things that are fast. And that's usually what it is with OnePlus phones. So uh, face unlock seems to have gotten faster, which I don't understand because when it first came out from OnePlus, it was already really fast. So now it seems faster. Of course, we get uh, fast charge, you know, dash charge, and the phone itself is fast, of course. Uh, it's running Oxygen OS, as always, but this time around, we are looking at Android 9 Pie, which is awesome. This is one of the only phones that has it right now. So huge thumbs up to OnePlus for that. And since we're on the topic of software, one of the things that did jump out to me was the options that we have for navigation. So of course we have the regular layout with the back, home, and recent apps layout. And then we have OnePlus's own gesture navigation, which I do like. And then we have the regular Android 9.0 Pie uh, navigation with the home button and then the back button off to the left. And then the swipe up gesture, you know, the one that that I'm not really that big of a fan of, um, but it's cool that you're able to switch between the three and you can uh, choose the one that you actually like using. So that's nice. Now, something that I am a little sad for is the loss of the headphone jack. Yeah, so OnePlus decided to remove the headphone jack on the OnePlus 6T, and I understand that's gonna make some people sad. Uh, they did put a little dongle in the box, but yeah, so no more headphone jack on the OnePlus phones. looks like they removed it to not only accommodate the larger battery, but to also include the in-display fingerprint reader. So as you can see, there's no more fingerprint reader on the back of the phone. So it is now built into the display, which is really cool technology. And I'm not too sure if this is a full on reason to get the phone, but it is really impressive how they're able to do this. And I think it's kind of cool to show off to other people, but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of that. If you like the fact that it's built into the display now, or if you prefer the way it was before, um, I'm kind of in between. I kind of like how this is right now. So a few other things to note about the OnePlus 6T, which I think are huge deals here. So we're talking Verizon compatibility. So you'll be able to use this phone on Verizon and OnePlus is teaming up with T-Mobile to bring this phone to the US, which is awesome. So uh, information on that down below, if you're on T-Mobile and you're looking to get this phone, go ahead and check out the links in the description. You're gonna like it. <laughs> And to top all of this off, it's the price of the phone that is probably the most impressive thing about it. Uh, so with all of these other phones reaching up, you know, $1,000 plus or close to it at least, the OnePlus 6T remains under $600. Yes, the 6T is going to start at $550. All of this great stuff in this great phone for $550 this phone is going to be incredibly and i mean incredibly hard to be let me know what you guys think of the oneplus 6t down below in the comments and we will talk about it i'm super excited to use it as my daily driver so stay tuned for my full review which will be up on the android police channel later this week so make sure you hit the subscribe button over there if you haven't already but yeah guys oneplus 6t here we go hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did feel free to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new i will talk to you guys in the very next video and thank you so much for watching